Hey guys, today we're gonna do a quick tutorial on these barrel twists on starter locks. Let's go. So first things first, this client has already been shampooed, retwisted, and dried. And second thing, second, that's almost as important as the first, is that I do not do barrel twists or ropes or any styles on starter locks until they start budding. They need to already have some budding happening before I will style them. That's usually... Um, around the two month mark when they're actually thick enough to actually hold a barrel twist. I see a lot of people styling barrel twists on starter locks the very first appointment. And the problem with that is, is that when the hairs start to shed, which is what causes it to lock, when you pull on that hair before it even starts to bud and you're pulling on it before it even has taken any form, it usually causes the hairs when they shed, instead of shedding into the curl, they shed kind of on the outside of the curl. And so what you have is like this perpetual frizzy lock that like with frizz that's like impossible to get rid of. And so what we do is we get the hairs to lock first within, give them two months. This client is actually three months into her journey and her hair has already got a good two, two and a half inches of budding on it, which is, allows it to be sturdy enough to actually hold the barrel twist in place without having to pull the, pull the locks um, too tight and twist them too tight and then pull them out of form in order to get the style. And you can always tell when you're looking at a style that's been done with locks that aren't fully locked because the barrels look really small and thin and flat. For barrel twist, all you're gonna do is twist one lock around the other and then gather them together and then go to the opposite side and then gather wrap it around and gather that together and then you're just collectively gathering them together as you go back twisting one around the the group on opposite sides as you go back kind of gives it like a shoestring kind of a shoelace kind of appearance um and then these are only going halfway back because it would be probably a lot much too tight if i Try to get it all the way to the hairline because they're not long enough really. They're not quite locked enough. By the time I get to this halfway point, there's really not a lot of hair left to wrap hair around. And so it gets more difficult when it's shorter and not locked all the way. Um, and so I'm kind of going at an angle. I just want to make note that we're going on the sides above the ear, past, much past the ear, and back towards the center, because even if they only wanna go halfway back and stop at the ear in the top, you don't wanna stop at the ear on the sides because it tends to stick out and it is not a good look. So those needed to dry a little bit more, so I clipped them on both sides and I ended up putting her back under the dryer after I finished the style but i'm taking these at an angle and so it makes them lay a little bit different in the front and so you can kind of play with it and have fun with it but for the most part i'm trying to make sure it looks nice on her face and so i like to go at an angle when i do barrel twists on women especially if they're just going back i like to go back at an angle and so sometimes I might start with just one lock in the front and then they get wider through the center and then of course they get skinnier when I go to get to the back and then I just wrap the rubber band around a couple of times you really don't want it to be too tight and then I like to adjust them so that they're laying in a way that's not gonna be sticking up later 
Another thing to take note of is that when they are brand new starter locks and they're getting their first style, you do have to twist some of those locks a little bit tighter before you wrap them around the barrel because they tend to want to unravel, which is why part of the reason why doing barrel twist on brand new starter locks that literally just started that same day is almost impossible so i don't know why people waste their time doing it but hey they'll learn so i know it's a little bit harder to see when my hands are in the way and i'm telling you i've been trying to find every which angle i can but this is hard y'all so anyway um i'm still just alternating every other side as i'm going back I got a hangnail or something. But yeah, so we grab two here, wrap the one behind the front, around the front one, then go to the other side, twist it a little bit, wrap it around twice. Sometimes it just depends on, you know, how sturdy it is or how much room there is or how much thicker it's gonna make it or whether I wrap it once or wrap it twice. I wrap it how much I need to wrap it. Sometimes I only need to go around once and tuck it under. Sometimes I need to wrap it around a couple of times to make it sturdier, or to make it thicker, or to make sure that there's not like a gap, a gappy area where you can see the part, the, the locks that are going straight back. Um, kind of, it's kind of instinctual, but You'll get the hang of it after you do a few of them um, and everybody's hair is different one of the most important things i know i made a short about it um, recently is that the key to getting really nice barrel twists is really more about the foundation it's really about the starter locks if they got started with a really nice set of locks then the partings are gonna are gonna lay in such a way that looks really good when you go to do the barrel twist but if they've got random partings random sizes um so many different things that i see every day some of those i can twist them up real good and i can put them in barrel twist and they just don't hit the same i am sorry get your locks started by a professional or somebody who actually cares to make them uniform to try to make them neat to try to give it a decent brick lay and your barrel twists will come out perfect every time no matter whether you go straight back or go at an angle or go up the back or or up the sides into a bun the barrel twists look best when they have a great foundation i hope this video was helpful to someone i'm going to uh wrap it up now it looks like i'm almost done so um Hopefully you guys can uh, get some use out of this and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.